Since 2004, TRADOC has been assessing and evaluating powerful new technologies here at Fort Benning during the annual Army Expeditionary Warrior Experiment, or AEWE. AEWE is the Army Expeditionary Warrior Experiment. This is the seventh iteration of that experiment. It's called Spiral G. It's a live prototype experimentation venue where industry and government essentially can get together and look through and see what emerging technologies may meet some of those capability requirements and gaps that the Army sees that they have. 45 technologies were evaluated during the three-week event, like unmanned ground and air robots, sensors, and communication networks, all to find the most effective situational awareness tools for our troops. The squad leader uh, on the battlefield has to make some quick calls, and uh, the technology is aimed at improving communication so we can use a cellular network, use some digital applications with it, and then get that information to the squad leader so he can use it in a rapid fashion to get that decision he needs to do something that's going to get that decisive action. This year's experiment showcased two exciting new technologies that are being fielded and will save lives. KMAX, an unmanned resupply helicopter, and JPADS, a self-guided parachute delivery system. To do uh, unmanned cargo deliveries, to dynamically control two independent bodies and keep them stable, going to bring a whole new set of options to the military user. JPADS, Joint Precision Air Delivery, self-guides itself, gets out, gets open, figures out where it's at, and it's pre-programmed to go to a GPS coordinate on the ground. And the big deal for uh, airdrop of this size and other sizes is that we're helping get convoys off the road. It's the, it's the biggest killer, IED, snipers, etc. In the mountainous area of uh, Afghanistan, it's making a big difference and it's saving a lot of lives. AEWE is an important part of the Army's continuous efforts to empower soldiers at the tip of the spear and provide them with decisive overmatch capabilities to defeat our enemies anywhere, anytime. The intent is to in help the infantryman or soldiers on the battlefield uh, to improve their position against the enemy, then yes, it can save lives. And that's what we're here for. Ron Andrus, Fort Benny TV.